Yo everyone, and welcome to, welcome to, the final episode of Night in the Woods. That's right, it's finally happening, we're doing this. It's happening. It's finally happening. The final episode. Have to say I'm looking forward to it being over. Not because I have any issue with the game, but because it's been a pretty exhausting, like, kind of few months or whatever. I've been filming the series, but I haven't filmed it, like, twice a week. And because I've been, like, all, like... Because I record on the day with these episodes, not because I record... I don't I don't record these episodes in advance. I record them during the day. Thank you, Brain, for just bailing on me. Oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And like junk. Oh god. Oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's it's through there. I have to say I'm not in like the most phenomenal mood tonight. For uh, this is the fifth time I've tried to start this episode. I, for some reason, seem to be up in my head about making this the greatest episode of the series I've ever made so far. And um, it is it is, it is, is sort of like niggling there at the back of my mind, you know. And it's really hot tonight. like it's, So my brain keeps clouding over because of heat and ADHD. It's great. It's great. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm doing really good. I know you're in here. Say something. Well, about this. Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show, show yourself. Also, my throat has done this thing where it's cleared all the way. So it actively hurts my throat now to do the fucking voices. It's all going so... How is everything going so wrong? <laughs> how is everything going so wrong for the finale? Man... Yeah, asshole. We're like five times scarier than you. I like like light kind of fades in. They're like aiming like machine guns at them. Okay, we're gonna go. <laughs> Good luck, mate. There they are. They're here. I'm gonna kill them. Eddie, you do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. <laughs> he shot me. Then I'd say we're even. Little girl got shot at the other got shot the other night. You're sorry about that. Y you're apologizing. It was a bad call. I am sorry. Uh, it's, it's okay. It didn't actually hit me. So wait, who are you? But your old dudes doing their damnedest <laughs> to protect their town, their own, and their neighbors. The, then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? No one's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or you're just being hard work. By family relation or just be b by being hard workers. <sighs> Fucking hell, brain. What are you doing to me? <sighs> Contributors. Um, okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not going to let you leave until he's he's had his say. <coughs> My throat! I wish I was dead! This is horrible! How? Why is this happening to me? And he's not going to let us leave until he's had his, his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through his shoulder. I don't think he's going to be having much to say in whatever. Wait, you think that's Eddie? He kidnapped the kid at Harfest. He's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following me, f following all of us. He. Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh, God. I've seen this. Or I've... I've felt it. 
was Ed Scudder and Jim Donnery who found it 20 years back or so. After the West Mine closed our past, bri- our past brittle, Wes Schumacher lost su- supervisor. Wes Schumacher lost supervisor was out there when the company locked onto the off, off the entrance. Carved his initials into the date in the door. Then got to this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine, big hole, copper. Abandoned chute long before any of us were born. Too close to the water. And that water was poison. When he first, when the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right up above us where we're sta- well, about where we're... The old sp- springs used to be above where we're standing, but that water dried up. 1992 or some, or so, some men from West... 1992 or so, some men from West Mine come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ted, till Ed burst through what that wall and finds this place. And Jim walks right into that hole and never hits the bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim don't answer, but someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl, in, dr- in, your dr- in dreams and in, the wa- and in waking times. Swat, swat brought you down here. What? What is it? Black goat. Not even black like the color. Black. Not even black like the color. Black like the space between the stars. He's down there in that hole. Looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you. He sings. Why would you just do something? Why would you do something for a hole in a cave told you to do? You gotta understand. In those days it was the end of the world. Job's gone. Our kids were leaving. Government didn't care. Only wanted our votes. Just putting in more and more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants. Well, we worked ourselves to death. Uh, here we go. God damn it! I hate this crap. You old dipshits. You finished? Yeah. <laughs> he prayed and prayed up at that church, but when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh God! I think I. Answers? Ed explained it to a few folks and they didn't believe it. But he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? The one he takes shine into. It rubs off on you. You can do things. And never, I never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked us all into, us all into it. After that first time after we picked one out. Well, not only was the town's holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still a few of us left from back then. Picked. First time. Picked. First one was Tom Turner, who believed you, me, who believed you, me, was a bastard. Just pure trash. Got, we, we got him down here, and in the hole he went. The next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? That's not B's voice. You throw them in the hull. You throw them in the hull. That's it. They're feeding him. It's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number, bro- one of our number broke the rules. And had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never picked no one who's gonna be missed. We never picked no one who's gonna be missed. That's solid rule. Drifters, drunks, delinquents. You've been. Oh god, oh no. How many people have you died there? Da- Casey? The Hartley kid? All he was gonna to contribute to society, except a bunch of kids growing up with no dad, was a rap sheet a mile long. Before whatever sad end he'd wind up at. We did him a favor. You, you killed Casey? Oh my god. We don't use that word. You know he was taking up business with his cousin, Ryan. You know what happened to his cousin? Burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear a hazmat suit when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey? 
And you want to act like we did do him, did him in this whole town a favor? Oh God, Casey's been down this there here this down here the whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about him before it came to this. Which one of you did it, Greg? He was my friend. All right, now throw it down right now, or we will shoot. <laughs> What if I get you first? Bolt sticking right at your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought d guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods. Na at night. Basic safety. I... I... Throw it down, son. Don't make this our time. Greg. Dang it. You monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. We are not monsters. We do it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Spring survives. Things can get better. These ma these mines are going to be humming again someday. Old mills puffing smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be uh, used to be you provided by, pr used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stuck in shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever seen that? A home become a tumble in a pile of wooden plaster. A job become burned out brick box or a hole in the ground. But we could change that. We can put this place back together where it won't be just shapes. I'm gonna die down here. Why are you telling us this? Because we're getting old and even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry th this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on... Pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? And if you're hurting now financially, like... Or is this just some big costume party murder club for some someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. <laughs> it does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this, just remember the flood a few years back. You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. Uh, I've seen it. You, I know you have. I'll understand you if you need some time to think it over. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. But understand that you don't know who we are. Out there. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair that you get to leave and probably get per permanent damage. Sorry. Unfair that you guys get to leave and I get permanent damage. Shut up, Eddie. We don't know a thing about what he, what he wants. What he is. Eddie, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, let's seriously get out of here. Son, you leave the crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you. But the truth is, I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyway. I can't move you guys. I'll carry you. I have no idea what to even think about any of this. It's just hor it's just horror. That's not a word you get to use too often. That's all I've got left. Like everything else in my head is gone. Let's get out of here. I don't know if I shh. Talk later.
old, old, old stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. I. Yeah. And for what? I, I think I get it. Well, really? Too tired to explain it right, but, like, they lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which was they had. Which was what happened, like, a long time ago. Or how they remember or like picture it. And things it gave them. And things it gave them. And so Casey and the kid are at half at this. And. Sorry, I lost it. That's more sense than I can make of it. That's sad. It's all really sad. You ready to go? You ready to go again, Angus? Yep, sorry. Wait, everybody shut up. What? Shh. I thought I... Uh, sorry, am I supposed to be doing something? Ah! Shit, what do I do? What am I do- what am I supposed to be doing? Jesus Christ, what do I do? Oh shit, bro lost his fucking arm, man. Holy shit! Is everyone okay? May. May, May, are you okay? May, May, are you okay? May, May, say something. <laughs> May? <laughs> Shh, it's okay. It's okay, I've got you. He's gone now. Shit, how are we going to get out of here? Shh, give her a minute. I feel air coming in from somewhere. So we're not going to suffocate. Okay, well, that's a relief. How do you... I was a scout, Greg. I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah. I love you. Duh. Welcome back, May. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I'm all, that I almost got murdered again, which is weird. Cough. <coughs> that was like the third time in two days. Third time's the charm. Guys, the air's coming from back here. All right, I'm up. You sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. It's boarded up a long. It was. It's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. Let's let's get out of here. Come on! Yeah, teamwork. Yeah, teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yep, that's some fresh air, all right. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Can rivers be... Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river, we're in mine. Mine river, we're in a mine. Right. So it probably won't be a death trap then. Bro, may go faster. I know you've just nearly been murdered and suffered a lot of trauma, but like, pff, come on, speed this up. <laughs> hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in that one foot of water. I don't think we're gonna die in that one foot of water, right? Was a shark in there? (laughs) 
Splish Splash. Are they coming or? Whoa! I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else, something I'd lost, trying so hard since not, since not to be angry. Trying so hard since not to be angry. Got me all defenseless, and I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I, when I ran home from the college, on the bus, I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. The last leaf on the tree, finally blown off. I'm so scared. All that time, and the fear hurts. Am I supposed to be reading this like this? I figured she was about to meet God again, so she was like calling out to him. Feeling like everything was over. It was over long before I got here. So long, hiding, or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop. Until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when the entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. You know, I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if we're going to kill me right here, then do it. If not... Meh. Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got a sleepwalky there for a sec. Want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang here for a bit. If you hang here for a bit, if you yeah, if you need to. We're safe. Uh huh. Hey, there's a light over there, over here. Did you smell that? I bet he. I bet he did. Sup, guys? <laughs> what is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. Hmm. Brochure. Hello! We're down here! D Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why, please! Could get lucky. Someone's out here in the woods at night. I, I can try to make it out. No, I can lack. Okay, yeah, are you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like do like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body is like, uh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, mate? Endorphins. Ah, okay. I like dolphins better as a metaphor. There, thank you, those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Ugh, that's assuming we can even get out. We'll watch. Okay. That is not what you said, was it? I'm jump on B. But oh, damn it. Oh, hang on, there's one hidden behind there. I got this. Yo. Yo, the music's coming to a tempo. A crescendo. The tempo of the music is rising to a crescendo. Oh, there's something I can climb on there. The vibe has risen. The escape from the dark place. 
fuck. The tempo rises. And they're out. I said tempo a lot and I thought that was pretty cool. This place? Huh? Hey, May. Huh? Jim? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. <laughs> Heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You, you were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. I'll be right back. Can you go get us? So, sorry, sorry. I got distracted. Hey, May. Yeah? What, was that Jim? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? Yeah, fucking Jim. Jim's a fucking vibe. Of course he lives in the woods. <gasps> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I bought some sodas. <laughs> You're the best, Jim. You need this sugar and caffeine. Oh, wait, does, does Jim like May? Oh, uh, want anyone else to get, uh... T oh, uh, anyone else want to get as far away from this as we well as possible? Yep. Jim, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, like, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. Fucking Jim, man. There goes a weird guy. A weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Jim is good. Jim is a good man. Yeah, he fucking is. It strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but we did cause the death of like a dozen guys. No, 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 they're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah? Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally grey. We're not murderers. We're not murderers. We're not murderers. Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. Uh, what? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us, kill get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I sure hope they go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I was thinking. I think, at least. Hmm. This is like a trolley thing. What's a trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. Hey guys, uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easy for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. And it didn't happen to us because we're like special. You can work as hard as you want, but the universe is going to keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserved all of this. This all... This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and, we, and you're dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me what kept me floating off it tonight. All of you are what kept me from floating off to, tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. I don't think I I didn't don't think I didn't appreciate that. Lol. 
I don't know if I'm ever going to understand what what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel right now. I just feel right now like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep all of you together with me. Wrap you up in a ball so no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you or whatever, wherever you're at. You're at. B, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems. But if I could fix them, I'd fix all of it. And I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or like borrow them at least. A better friend would buy but uh, that. But I'm, but I'm what you got. <laughs> and I'm glad. Yep, there it is. Now, I'm just going to erase all that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. Bruh. Oh no, oh, that's the episode's way shorter than I thought it was. Boop. No, I'm not going on the computer. I have to finish this game within a, like, a respectable amount of time. Help. Escape, there we go. Shuka. Epilogue. Stars. Hang on. Is there going to be one final episode? How long is the epilogue? May, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen. If you want to talk. Yeah, sure. N no. <laughs> yeah? Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mum. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favour and stay home tonight? Sure, Mum. Why? It's been... Ju I just... I... You're an adult. And you can do whatever you want. But you do live here. And you are still my baby. Oh, Mum. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because, honey, you could have died the other night. Then you just left to hang out with your friends. I... I... I'm so sorry, Mum. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I really... I've had a really tough year, Mum. Hun, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hun? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Just please, tell me. You working today? No, me and father are both off today. I'll be around tonight, we can talk about it then. Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner, for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip pancakes in the air. Dad can flip pancakes in the air? Haha, <laughs> sure. Haha, <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town close? Yeah, Mum. I think, I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for them some snow, too. It went that fast. What did? Fall. Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. Love you, too, Mum. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Oh, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to... Let you provide for your family. 
Job supposed to, to have regular hours. Boss supposed to respect you. Work is supposed to be able to talk. Work is supposed to be able to have a laugh. Work is supposed to be able to live. Your mum's always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I have just now I just work so I can keep the health up up out the health insurance and hold it to the house and try at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say that, say it than get it done. Unions are always there in the mines and factory, at least for a while. But here, I got something for you. I got it out of the basement. How'd you get in the basement? Door in the crawl space. That's spooky. So what I got is a tooth. A what? A what? Whoa. Do you know what this tooth is? No, really? You sure? Yeah. Granddad must have had it from the old days. Me, hey, thank you. Wow, looks bright and new. Oh, they just pulled it out of his skull yesterday. You show that to your boss and tell him to eat shit. Me? Sorry. I'll just keep it with me. Sure thing. Me? Yeah. You come down and pick it with us if you walk out. I will breathe fire, Dad. Love you, kitten. Be back later, Dad. I think I misread that. What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting early start on our longest night, night plants. Gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help you put them up? Oh, we'll see you're a small fry. Dad. Okay, I might have to leave this episode here. There's gonna be one more, guys. Yo, smash subscribe for the actual finale. What you hey guys, uh, as it turns out, this will actually be the last episode of Night in the Woods uh, because I autopiloted deleting the app um, after I, f I, I, f I finished the playthrough, which is what I do with most of the, um, the app games that I play. I delete it the instant after I finish the episode and I did that on autopilot and deleted it and deleted at Night in the Woods. And so I'm not going to be able to finish this game for you. I'm so sorry. I... I'm so sorry. I'm so angry at myself for doing that. I really wanted to finish the game again. I... I it's, it's fine. I can't... I just, it's fine. I'm really glad you guys enjoyed the Night in the Woods playthrough, and I'm so sorry I couldn't finish it for you. Um... I love this game deeply. Maybe I'll play it again sometime. <laughs> Maybe I'll do another playthrough of it at some point in the future, and this time actually finish it. But if not, I love this game deeply, and I'm deeply upset that I deleted it, because I'm an idiot. But thank you for watching my Night in the Woods playthrough. I'm so sorry it had to end like this. Watch all my videos. Bye-bye. See ya.